What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're going to unbox and test the Adventure Force Mustang Mach 1. This is a 124th scale car and comes with a radio and full function controller. Now, I don't really think it would be considered an RC car if it didn't have those. Now it also says that the car can go 100 feet from the controller, which I have not seen it rated that high on an Adventure Force box before. So to see if that's true, we will measure it later on. And finally, it says it has a runtime of up to 45 minutes. Now, personally to me, that's a pretty long time. I mean, I don't even get that much runtime out of my regular RC cars. So we will see if that is accurate later on in the video, along with everything else on the box. Now, if you want to know more specs about this car or where to buy it from, there will be a link in the description below. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. in the box to you get your manual and your remote in car now this car actually looks pretty cool it almost looks like the actual mustang just scaled down of course now something i've already noticed is that the rear tires are actually a lot wider than the front tires i don't know if it's like this on the real car but either way this will add more grip to the car as you drive it around this is a rear wheel drive car and has front adjustable steering which is nice to see now for the remote we've actually seen this on another rc car before i forget which one it was but they improved something because now there's a screw at the bottom of it because in the other remote this back end would always fall out so i had to put a piece of tape over it so hopefully we can see if this keeps it on the whole time you will need two AA batteries for the controller and three AA batteries for the car now let's install these batteries and start testing out the car. Now we are outside and we're gonna start testing this thing. So first off, the speed. As you can see, it has a pretty decent speed. It has a pretty good smooth turning angle to it. But something that's weird is reverse is actually faster. I think they may have messed this up while they were programming the car, which kind of stinks, but it is still a decently fast car for its price. Now we're going to see how far this car can go from the controller using this measuring tape. Now remember, it said it could go 100 feet, so let's see how accurate that is. Let me know down in the comments what your predictions are for this thing. So the car just lost its signal up there. Let's go measure it. I don't know what else to say guys. These cars never failed to impress me. Look at that, 138 feet, 38 feet above what it said. I mean, you guys have got to get some credit to Walmart for that right there. It's awesome to see how their cars always go above and beyond what they say they can really do. And now for the final test of this car, I have the remote set up in a way in the vise that when I turn on the switch, the steering turns and the tires turn. And the reason why the tires will be turned the whole time is to simulate you steering it. And then of course the tires will simulate you driving it. So the most important thing about the sole setup is the stopwatch. Now I will try to stop this right when the tires stop moving. So this test will end when the batteries go completely flat. Now I also have this car set up on a rubber band so that it won't slide off the table. Let's start this test right now. Alright, well I guess I'll be hearing this for the next, hopefully, 45 minutes. So here we are coming up on the 45 minute mark and as you can see it's still running very well let's see hit 45 minutes boom it just hit 45 minutes now one thing i'm noticing i can actually smell the motors so this might be a test more on the motors than the actual battery life but i'm still going to let this thing run until the batteries go completely flat so i'll update you guys on that when it stopped moving we have now hit 
the one hour mark. Still going strong. So I just made it back to the shop and when I came back the car was off and this is the time that I stopped it at. So it still feels a little warm. So let's say it stopped at three hours. Now three hours is a stupid long time but you also have to bring into consideration that as you drive it and the battery starts getting lower and lower the car will start going slower. So Depending on what battery you put in here, I would say you would have a runtime of about two hours total because you probably don't want to have the car driving really slow on you. But overall, I am very impressed with how that test went and glad to see that it succeeded what the box said. So here's what I like and don't like about this car. Let's go over what I don't like first. So one of the biggest downs about this car is it actually goes faster in reverse than going forward. Now they should have made it the other way around, but like I said earlier, I think they messed up the programming in this when they were making it. Now the second thing is that you have to unscrew these screws in order to replace the batteries. Now yes, it only adds maybe 20 seconds to the process, but that means you have to have a Phillips screwdriver that fits that on you every time you have to do this. It'd be nice not to have to do that, but oh well. Now on the remote, this button right here, it says it's supposed to be a turbo mode, but I've tried it with pressing the throttle without pressing the throttle. It does nothing, so I find that very weird. Now the last thing I don't like about this car is the fact that you cannot take off the front wheels. Now I don't like this because if hair or something were to get caught in there, it means that you can barely get it out, maybe if you got some needle nose pliers, but it would lock up these wheels and they would always drag it to one direction. Now about the things I like about this car. So the first thing is the body. Check that out. That looks pretty cool in my opinion. And I think it's cool that they scaled this down almost exactly from the real Mustang Mach 1. The second thing is the tires. These things have really nice grip, especially on the driveway. I mean, this thing barely slides around at all. However, if you do drive this on a smooth surface, you could probably get some nice drifting action in. Now, speaking of the wheels, these rear wheels do have a screw in it, which means if hair or something gets caught in there, you can just take the tire off and get it out. And the last few things, the steering is very smooth, and I like how this switch does not turn off if a rock hits it because you have to switch it side to side. Now, if this switch was up and down, that means if a rock hit it, it would switch it to the off position and you have to walk over there and turn it back on. So I'm very glad to see that this car has a switch just like this one. And I'm also, of course, very impressed with how this thing performed in all its tests. It went further than the box said it could and lasted way longer than it said. And finally, I like the remote because it's nice and snug in your hand and the buttons are very easy to press and don't wear out your hands. Oh, and forgot to mention, this screw does hold in the battery mount perfectly, so you won't need to be putting any tape on this. Alright guys, this will be it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed the video today, and I hope to see you in one of my next ones. Thank you so much for watching, stay awesome, peace. Oh.